friends and thank you for being here. I wanted to share a different type of studio vlog this week, kind of a morning in my life video. My art and my shop aren't my full-time pursuit, so when I get a pocket of time to focus on it, like this morning, I really, really treasure that. I'm a big breakfast fan, so there's rarely ever a morning that I skip it. Today's breakfast is a bowl of maple pecan cereal from Trader Joe's topped with a banana and some vanilla almond milk. On most mornings, I end up watching YouTube videos while I eat my breakfast, and this Sunday was no different. I really love any excuse I can have to use this cereal bowl that has Chip and Dale on it. They're two of my favorite characters. After breakfast, I opened some Happy Mail from Sticky Rice Co. How amazing is this washi tape? I love boba, fruits, all of those things, so I'm sure I'll be using this one a lot. The packaging was really cute, and I was so surprised by this freebie that says Thrive on it. I love this art style. It reminds me of my favorite artist, Mary Blair. I ordered two sticker sheets, this garden one is one of them, as well as this one with Pom Pom Purin, one of my favorite Sanrio characters. I've been eyeing Sticky Rice Co. for a while, but when I saw this was the September freebie, I knew it was finally time to place an order. I got some more Happy Mail a new product for my shop. I'm so excited to share these Ume pins with you. As a kid, besides collecting stationery, I also collected pins, usually pins from Disney World because they have a big pin trading culture. But when I saw the opportunity to turn Ume's face into a pin, I had to grab it because that is just a dream come true. If I ever end up printing stickers out, but I don't have time to cut them, I just keep them in this Totoro folder so that they don't get dusty. Next on the agenda was to cut some stickers for personal use and for my shop. I recently shared this illustration of Azuki's fall bakery menu, and I thought it would be a great idea to turn each of the menu items into a sticker. So that's what I'm cutting here. I'm also cutting out my October bullet journal kit so that I'll be ready for next month's spread. The October bullet journal kit is a digital download so you can print it immediately as soon as you order it. It will also be available soon as a bundle with a November Bujo kit so keep an eye out for that. While I was cutting these stickers, I was listening to the Eagles football game on the radio. I don't live in Pennsylvania anymore, so it's the only way that I can experience the football game. When I was a kid, I used to draw if I was done with my homework, when my parents would have football or other sports on TV. So this kind of feels full circle, like now I'm making products with my illustrations while I listen to the football game. The game didn't turn out so good, the Eagles lost, but this activity helped keep me calm. Mm -hmm. 
I was so happy to have a slow morning on Sunday because Friday and Saturday were so busy for me. I attended the Virtual Lightbox Expo, which is an expo for artists and animators and professionals in those industries. I'm currently looking for a job as a production assistant at an animation studio, so I really learned a lot and attended so many panels to learn more about the animation process and what jobs are out there. Here we have Fuji apple slices with cinnamon peanut butter, an apple cider donut, a zuki of course, a pumpkin pie, orchard apple cider, a pumpkin chai latte, and a maple pecan latte, and of course a coffee crumb muffin. I think Azuki's bakery menu sounds so good. I wish it was real. Thanks for joining me for a different kind of vlog today. I hope that you are well, that you're inspired, and that your day is full of lovely moments ahead.